Greetings from Planet Oz, friends. Oz here, and I am really excited to get some Akashic Field action into my films, starting with this one, because the Akashic Field theory is one of my favorites. It is very fundamental, it affects everything in the universe, and it can potentially solve an incredible amount of paranormal puzzles if we allow it to. It basically claims that there is an information field that connects everything in the cosmos to everything else and includes instantaneous access to infinite knowledge. So if the Akashic field is real, then so is the force. Jedi. What follows is an integration of esoteric concepts as interpreted through the lens of Planet Oz. As with all things, it is presented before your wisdom to be made with what you wish. To kick off our discussion of the Akashic field, we are first going to look at the concept of a plenum. The Akashic field is said to be a plenum, so a lot of understanding about how it works depends on understanding this concept of the plenum itself, which is tricky. In Irvin Laszlo's groundbreaking book, Science and the Akashic Field, he says this, The most fundamental element of reality is the quantum vacuum the energy and information-filled plenum that underlies, generates, and interacts with our universe and with whatever universes may exist in the metaverse. So as I said at the top, this theory is massive. It affects absolutely everything in our reality. In fact, before tangling with any question related to metaphysics or the paranormal or even the spiritual, it makes sense to check first with the Akashic field. Since the Akashic field theory is essentially so big that it encompasses every other theory within it, it makes sense to start with any of these questions by first asking, how does this fit within the Akashic field theory? So theoretically, there is a fabric to our reality and everything is both made out of it and woven into it. And since the Akashic field plenum is tricky to visualize, I thought visualizing it would be a good topic for a film. So first I'll start with some organic means to visualize it, and then I'll move on to something pretty cool I came up with using computer graphics. So here are some pretty cool images where people were blasting ink into water. And you can see that when the ink first shoots into the water, it is very clean and distinct. The ink and the water look like two separate entities. But ultimately, both the ink and the water are liquid. This separation is a temporary illusion that will dissolve over time. Here we can see that as time passes, the boundary that defines the ink dissipates. That's because they weren't actually ever separated. It was always all liquid, all the way through. The ink made some look separate, but now we can see that the illusion is coming apart. With enough time, the ink and water fully integrate until there is no distinction between them whatsoever. So imagine the water is the plenum and the ink blasts are the forms that are born out of it and woven into it. And they do look distinct, but ask yourself this question. If you are to increase the temperature of the water, what happens to those forms? If you are to send electricity through the water or send sound waves through the water, what happens to the forms then? We know that the, they will actually conduct electricity, increase in temperature, and carry sound waves just the same as the surroundings because in fact, it's all liquid, it's all one, and the illusion of separation is just that, an illusion. I really wanted a way to visualize the Akashic Field plenum using computer graphics, so I tinkered around a bit and I found a method that I really like, and so I'll share some of those renders with you. 
I've got some basic geometric shapes. I'm going to fly through this computer generated plenum. And when you look at these, it's easy enough to make out a cone or torus or a cube or whatever. But when we look closely, we see that there isn't really any part of the plenum that is moving. Each subdivision of the plenum is either in a restful state of blue or an excited state of pink. But these units themselves don't move. The appearance of the object and of its movement within the plenum are illusions. Nothing is actually moving except an impulse to inspire excitement rather than rest. To get the clearest picture of this idea, we'll move in really close on an area of this plenum. The blue coloring is there rather than transparency to emphasize that every quantum unit of this plenum to the smallest degree is completely full. It's made of incredibly dense energy and there's no empty space. So in the case of our demonstration, there's blue plenum and pink plenum. But just like the ink and the water, this distinction is an optical illusion. The ink and the water are all liquid, the blue and the pink are all plenum. The concept behind this illusion has been used in many things that you're already familiar with and have seen many, many times. LED signs, for example, create the illusion of moving letters by alternating tiny lights on and off. These pin art toys can create the illusion of movement by alternating the height of the pins. And if you've ever participated in the wave at a sporting event, then you have truly experienced this firsthand as you contributed to the illusion of a stadium sized wave while never leaving your seat. In every case, something that isn't moving creates the illusion of something that is. So in our case, if you are looking at a torus or a cone or a cube, the mechanic is always exactly the same. The tiny individual nodes are creating the appearance of form and they can create the appearance of any form. This computer model is fun to actually go inside the plenum and look at various angles and perspectives on the forms as they're moving. And you can really get the sense that at the correct distance and at the correct resolution, this could really create a convincing illusion of a form right before your eyes. So it's an illusion, but a pretty convincing one, wouldn't you say? I'm going to have a lot more content about the Akashic field coming at you in the future through the plenum all the way from planet Oz.